YouTube kick. Calling Ballinger. Let's just hop right into it. Let's just hop right. Look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Off to a terrible start. Calling. <laughs> Why could you be serious? Why you have to start right with a ukulele? Come on, man. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. It's gossip toxic train, okay. You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station. Toxic gossip train. Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past. Those rumors look like facts if you don't mind the gaps I won't survive in the crash, but hey, at least you're having fun. Uh, hi everyone, I've been wanting... Hold up. Hey Colleen, why can't you be better? Oh yeah. Why can't you just tell us the truth and just get it together? Oh yeah. You say it's a gossip toxic train and are you're not the one to blame. Why can't you make a change today? Colleen, come on. See how stupid that looks? Be serious! Back to it. I need to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. Colleen! talk about the facts. So, I hope that you'll be willing to listen. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be best. Loser kind of way? Colleen, you think this, this isn't also a loser kind of way? What are we doing right now? You're really going to do the whole video this way? Oh, I... <laughs> with everybody. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, Ugh. Um, That was me. But in group chats with my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs when I would over. <laughs> Calling. You didn't know that there should be boundaries? This this person, I don't even know, man. I'm just getting more and more lost for words. I just don't understand this individual. I really don't. Let's continue. Share details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was random. Sorry. But that's not very interesting, is it? 
So let's go on the toxic <laughs> gossip train. The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. Can you get toxic to the point? Gossip train. Steamroll over someone's reputation. Toxic gossip train. Oh my god. Guys, give me one second. Sorry about that. Hop on board, but close your eyes. Otherwise, you'll realize that the train is made of lies, and that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die. But hey, at least you're having fun. Holy, nobody's having fun. Get I to the video. Do you think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes? Um, you know, you should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. You know what's hilarious about this, by the way? And she said that her team advised her not to talk about this, but she could sing. Colleen, you know, playing a beat in the background, like me playing a beat in the background like this, right? Doesn't mean that I'm actually singing anything, right? Just because I'm speaking over the music and telling you how I truly feel and letting you know that sometimes people can be toxic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gotta know. Get on that toxic train. Yeah. I just know. Oh, oh, oh. So honestly, guys, when I just think about everything that I've done in the last 15 years, it just gets really wild, you know? And I just think that people need to learn how to... See? That's, that's not the same thing, Colleen. You're still talking. You're still talking. You just have a beat in the background. What are we watching right now? Lo-fi girl? It's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh. I thought you wanted me to take accountability. That's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. You hate people when they use that excuse. Monetize. Oh, you're just monetizing. Colin, you monetize stuff too. You're making money off videos. We all do. I don't, but you do. Okay, look, I quit acting like you're not monetizing this video. That's goofy. We're three minutes in and you really said nothing. Yeah. Um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that all of you are perfect. So please criticize. That's gaslighting, you Cocoa Puff. It's gaslighting right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know none of you made mistakes. Da, 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 cheated. You just <laughs> just said that she's going to gaslight. You said people are going to say you're gaslighting, and then you immediately gaslighted those people. The people who are saying that what you did to them actually hurt them and traumatized them and all these things, and your your response is to gaslight immediately? Goofball, man. Me, bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. Yes. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. They have screenshots in videos. Hey everybody, I found made someone up. new to harass. She did some things that I do not in her past so everybody gather around because we're about to attack but not based on facts oh no your loaded lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys you don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen so shoot me down quick do the click and bam carlin you don't want these people to see you in real life i hate when they do the whole hide behind the screen thing now i understand there are keyboard warriors out there but calling calling you think are you gonna hop on a discord are you gonna hop on a video and talk about this Face to face, we can do that. We got no problem doing that. I think you hide behind the screen. You, Trish, and whoever else who just just turns their face away from you and just let you do whatever. There are screen. Mm. There 
reputation's deceased. This ain't helping it. Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda sings. You know the one. Yeah. You! Don't do that whole personality thing. She's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway, um, I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I've always relied on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. Have I made some jokes in poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans who feel betrayed? Yes. But was my intention to manipulate? No. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, Yeah, that's what I'm feeling too. I hear you. Calling, listen, here's the thing is about you're still trying to play the victim, even though you were the person who went after these people. You're the one who sent your dirty draws and said all that stuff to people and was saying inappropriate stuff to children. And then you're going to tell us that we are bad people for saying, calling you out and saying that you're an awful person. And, th and you wonder why we do it because when we try to call you out and we try to say, hey, Colleen, you're messing up here. This is the kind of responses we get, a ukulele. Like, how are we supposed to be like, you know what, I think Colleen's really making some changes. I, I, even though she really screwed up in the past, man, she's just making strides. But no, you get on here and play a ukulele and expect us to take you serious. Like, you're 30. You're in your 30s. What are you, 35 now? Colleen, come on. You know, I always talk about this. This is what we've been talking about a lot on this channel is how a lot of us don't want to grow up until we're in our 30, 35, 36, 37, where none of us want to take responsibility as adults. She's playing the ukulele like it's a joke. These are real kids and real problems that you were doing, real disgusting things. But once again, people like you can get away with it. And I'm not, you know, it's just crazy. Like, I feel like there's some people in this world that they can just get on, hop on a ukulele, and people will maybe just say, ah, oh, that was cringe and move on. We can't move on from this until we get a seriously true apology not this ukulele garbage get on here and say hey guys look screwed up did terrible things awful things i'm gonna do go get some therapy and try to figure this stuff out for now i'm gonna be gone from youtube and i'll be gone for a couple months really working this stuff out nope ding -a -ling, ding -a -ling, ding -a -ling. hey baby that's not the way to do it <laughs> at all come on dude it doesn't matter that these things aren't true what? Uh, everyone just believes See? that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. Is that true? Don't play the I ukulele. I to say that um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans. And I'm not a predator, even though a lot of you think so. Because I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because you just mentioned that your little character, whoever Miranda was, Miranda sings. You said that it was PG-13 and all that kind of stuff. And you didn't know that the, it was your job to do all this stuff for the, and the parents that were supposed to protect these children. And you just said you were responding to fans. So you knew that kids were your fans then. Right. So when you were doing Miranda singing, you were responding to fans. You knew that your fans were also children. And then not only that, you asked them weird, weird questions. Asked them one of them to see see a booty pic from a little boy. You t you ask kids about what they're doing on their menstrual cycle. You ask if they're virgins. And is that normal to you? Is that normal? Like you actually think it's a normal discussion to have fans? What you're trying to argue is stuff that we have seen. It's not like we're making this up out of thin air. And this is just no. These are screenshotted things of you saying 
and your response is you didn't do it, Honor, lock her up. <laughs> lock her up. Hey, Miranda. Now, you know what? We're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> Five years ago, I made a fart joke. To a little girl by spreading her legs. It wasn't just a fart joke. Let's not be stupid. So, even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me. Nope. I still felt it was important to come on here and get a million views and, myself a little. and monetize it. Take accountability. You need to take any accountability. And I also wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, never. I really, really appreciate you. You shouldn't. Thank you. For what it's worth, I never had any bad intentions. Lies! <laughs> She's hilarious, man. I didn't know. You know what? <laughs> let me just let her finish. But I do feel like shit. You should. Continue on. The toxic gossip train. Chugging down the tracks of. Quit singing about some stupid. Oh, come on. Is she really taking responsibility? Time I'm just confused. Time. She keeps saying manipulation train and we, well, I'm taking accountability, but you guys are lying. I didn't do any of that stuff. I don't mean to gaslight you, but I didn't realize that all you guys were perfect. Like this video is not showing anything. It's just her trying to say that she feels terrible for something she didn't do. It's pretty much what I'm getting out of this. And you should feel bad for even saying anything on this gossip toxic train. When you don't mind the gaps. See? Rumors look like facts when you don't mind the gaps. Come on. I won't survive in the crash, but hey. I hope you had some fun. <laughs> Bro, so I come from an acting background. I was never an actor like that, but I, I, you guys know I've been making videos for years, so I've done my fair share of skits, and I was in musicals and stuff like that. Not musicals, I was in one musical, but I've been in skits, so I've had to act in my life, right? <clears throat> never wanted to, I think I wanted to be acting when I was like third grader, but after that, I just, I wanted to be a lot of things. But one thing I know I wanted to be was a video guy, and here I am today, hello! But, you know, one thing that I've really noticed is how she tries to play on the emotion. Just just watch this, you know. Um, we could do that same thing. You know, I can't get my freaking uh, thing to work for me right now. It's been really messing up a lot. But that's okay. Life goes on. But I wanted to say, if I just sat here, and we played some weird sound, slow music, really quiet Got your emotions into it. I just want to let you guys know that. What happened was not a good thing. And uh, people are trying to take my career and trying to mix up my words and uh, say that I'm not doing well. Hey, you saw it. <clears throat> Turning. Chopping me up. Seasoning me on some steak. Um, but honestly, I feel bad for what I did. Even though I didn't do anything. And, uh, honestly, uh, I'm just, I'm hoping you guys can forgive me. See, it's not that hard, guys. It's really not that hard to fake it. 
You know what I mean? I could really right on here on scene and start crying. And everybody knows to start crying. You could cry on scene if you've done it enough times. But this whole emotion, trying to get you guys emotionally involved, absolute disgrace. Once again, absolute disgrace. I hate people who do that kind of stuff. Listen, I get being an actor, you know, not an actor, but I get making this stuff up for skits and stuff because she does. She's been doing this for a living, guys. She's been doing this for 15 years. She's been acting. So you don't think she could act in a video for a couple minutes? <laughs> Come on now. Yep. What did y'all just see me do? <laughs> what did y'all just see me do? That right there. And I just, you know. I feel bad. That's it. <laughs> That's the look down, baby. That's what you learn, especially when you're trying to cry. That's how you kind of get it going. At least that's what I was, I've done in the past. When I start wanting to tear up and just start get my eyes to water, I just kind of. Then, you know, you feel awful. You start looking down, acting one on one. Good job. I've never really watched your stuff, but I think you're a great actor. Good job. I'll put you in my next movie called Gaslighter 3. You can make a mistake and it still make you a horrible person. You know, and she keeps saying that people are gaslighter. And also, I've made mistakes and they in those mistakes, it's okay since have made me a horrible person at a point in my life. I've admitted that here. Some of the things I've done to people has made me an awful person. I've been trying to rectify those things for the last like five, six years of my life. But I've done some things that have made me a horrible person. But I've got to get better. I don't try to deny that stuff. I don't dwell in it because all I can do is move forward. But to say that it, a mistake can't make you a horrible person, it absolutely can. Ask uh, Dominique Jones. Oh, a good person, crazy, I know. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you don't have to take that mistake. Oh, no. And twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pulverize it and stab it with knives and ruin a life and oh no sometimes people is your life really ruined Colleen look at you you're sitting in your nice little house playing the ukulele with a selfie ring light in front of you and got a million views your life is over Colleen come on man what a freaking victim dude people can make a mistake doesn't mean you gotta send them hate, oh no. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you can kindly let them know and help them to grow. Sometimes people make mistakes simply because they made a mistake. That people make a mistake because they simply made a mistake? Doesn't make them a terrible human. Yes, it can. Just makes them a, a failure. <laughs> Just makes them a human. Who is she? Who is her audience supposed to be? Children? What do I know? She don't know how to end the Fuck video. Fuck me, right? She don't know. She, she had no idea how to end that video. She was what she was thinking about. Oh, what the? She was, uh, she was trying to, man, God, Colleen, you know, when you, when you watch another content creator and you're also a content creator in your small, 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 small world, um, I can still see those things. It's like when you're making videos, like I've never made an apology video, but I know how it feels when you don't know how to end a video and you're just like, wow, this video is going to be trash. <laughs> you already know it. You already know it. You're like, but I ain't got time to make another one. You know, you're just kind of like, this is, it is what it is. And that's why you end it like that. You're just like, 
and uh, video's over. You're like, well, I screwed that up. It's over. <laughs> They're going to clown me, but, you know, let me get this quick million views off. Let me make this quick. I'm just glad she didn't do no sponsorship or something. Brand deal. But, uh, yeah, that was that was absolute travesty. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. <sighs> is Colleen's career over? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Um, has her reputation took a hit? Absolutely. But the fact that she's playing the ukulele like that tells me that she does not believe her career is over. Somebody who thinks their career is over is not getting on here and playing ukulele. They're going to get on here and beg, beg and do something better than that. Or at least just get on here and say, hey, guys, you know, I'm going to take some time away. And then show up again in about six months. And then you'll make a 10 million views off that video when you return. But no, she's playing the ukulele, so she knows it's not over. She'll be making videos here in a couple weeks. We'll see. Let's see how this video ages. And let me know y'all's feelings and comments down below. Peace.